Time to give you the latest on the Biden classified document scandal, because the walls are closing in on the Biden presidency. I'm really confused about how the president is handling this and how his White House press secretary is handling this. I'm so very confused. Yesterday, President Biden was at some event for some reason with some group of politicians, and a reporter shouted a question to him about the documents. And well, Joe Biden did what every politician does when they're in the, middle, in the middle of a scandal. He yells at the reporter for asking a question about the scandal. Here, watch. You know, the only, I, I will answer the question, but here's the deal. You know, what quite frankly bugs me is that we have a serious problem here we're talking about. We're talking about what's going on, and the American people don't quite understand why you don't ask me questions about that. Having said that, what's your question? All right. Now, I want you to notice something. And we're going to play this video one more time. I'll go full screen on it so you can see. Because as he's yelling at the reporter saying, American people don't care about this. I, I can't believe you're asking about it. It doesn't matter. It's stupid. Notice what he's doing. He's searching in his little file folder for the carefully prepared statement that the lawyers have written out for him to read. Watch that. Watch what he's doing. Oh, wait, here. We'll start it at the beginning. Here we go. You know, the only, I, I will answer the question, but here's the deal. You know, there he is. Quite frankly, bugs me. Where's is that, that piece of paper? Here it is. I left it somewhere. We're talking about ah, there it is. What's going on, and that. The American people don't quite understand why you don't ask me questions about that. But having said that, what's your question? There, I got my, I got my carefully prepared statement ready now. So go ahead and ask your question. Now, a couple things here. First of all, if he's annoyed that the question's even being asked, why did he? in advance have his lawyers write a carefully worded statement. And number two, isn't it obvious that no matter what the question is, he's going to answer with this carefully prepared statement. So what's the point of even hearing the question? By the way, the question the reporter asks, not really a great one. The question is, do you have any regrets over the document scandal? Um, I don't care if he has any regrets. I've got bigger questions to ask. But here, watch how it plays out. As we found, uh, we found a handful of documents were failed uh, or filed in the wrong place. We immediately turned them over to the archives and the Justice Department. We're fully cooperating, looking forward to getting this resolved quickly. I think you're going to find there's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. It's exactly what we're doing. There's no there there. All right. Now, let me explain why I'm so confused here, because none of this really makes sense, does it? The day before, we talked about this on the program yesterday, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre deflecting question after question after question from an increasingly intense White House press corps, actually. Her explanation was that the White House did not want to get in the way of an ongoing investigation. Oh, I'm sorry, wait. They're not calling it an investigation at the White House. Did you see this? They won't use the word investigation. They use the word review. I'm sorry. Have you ever heard of the attorney general appointing a special counsel to conduct a review? Yeah, that whole Robert Mueller thing on Trump and Russia, that was a, it's just a review. But back to our plucky little press secretary there over at the White House. She deflected every question posed to her with the same thing. She'd say, I refer you to the Justice Department. I refer you to the special counsel's office. They claim they don't want to get in the way of the important work that the Justice Department is doing. They don't want to disrupt the work of the special counsel's office by answering any questions. Of course, the Justice Department has never said, hey, don't answer any questions. That's going to disrupt our work. That's just their, their line. See, at the same time, they're also saying, as you just saw from Joe Biden, that we did nothing wrong. We followed everything properly. We did everything perfectly. We did nothing wrong. There's no there there, you just heard Joe Biden say. And besides, we're not Donald Trump. He's a mean orange man, and he tweets mean things. So we're different. I mean, that seems to be their line these days. That, that's it. That's the entire defense. But can we play this out logically for a moment? I mean, if it's true that Joe Biden did absolutely nothing wrong and there's no there there, then why does he have to read a carefully prepared statement from his lawyers? 
If Joe Biden did absolutely nothing wrong, why is he resisting answering questions? If Joe Di Biden did absolutely nothing wrong, why is his press secretary deflecting any benign, innocuous question about this matter. If Joe Biden did absolutely nothing wrong, then why doesn't he hold an open-ended press conference for as long as it takes to answer every question from every reporter that has something to ask about this matter? If Joe Biden has the truth on his side, why should he be hesitant to answer every question any of us might have? In fact, if he has the truth on his side, why does he have to read a carefully prepared statement? You can't get in trouble for telling the truth, can you? If Joe Biden has the truth on his side and he did absolutely nothing wrong, how could any of his answers or his press secretary's answers get in the way of the work of the Justice Department or disrupt the work of the special counsel? I mean, the investigation, or even if you want to be incredibly generous, the review of Biden's handling of classified materials and his sloppy storage of national security secrets can only be aided by hearing from the president and having him answer questions, right? I mean, if he really wants to help the Justice Department and the special counsel, he should start answering questions immediately. You'd think he'd want to get this thing over with. I mean, he's in the right after all. He didn't do anything wrong. He has the truth on his side. So why not have every question asked and answered? Get the truth out there so the special counsel's office can finish their review and then we can move on to the important work that the American people want us to do. We just heard the American people don't want to deal with this, so then let's hurry this along. Stop reading your carefully prepared statements that were written out for you by your lawyers. You don't have to do that, Joe. You've got the truth on your side. See, this is why I'm so confused. The president and his entire White House assures us that he did nothing wrong and state secrets were never in jeopardy and nobody had access to any of the sensitive material. Did I mention yet that the president did nothing wrong and that he has the truth on his side? Yeah, that's right. The president did nothing wrong. He has the truth on his side. It's hard to say with a straight face. You can understand why I'm so confused. When somebody has the truth on their side, they're eager to tell the truth. They're eager to speak out for themselves. They're eager to answer every question so that nobody jumps to any hasty conclusions, like, like that he left national security documents in his garage where his crackhead son could have access to them and possibly share them with our foreign enemies in China. Hypothetically. See, people will leap to conclusions like that if all you do is deflect questions and read perfor carefully prepared statements from your lawyers. Aren't you confused? The president did nothing wrong. He has the truth on his side. The whole thing is a silly little kerfuffle and a media-made right-wing attack job, right? Obviously. So why is he just reading these prepared statements? Why is he lawyered up? Why does everybody stonewall on this thing and deflect? Why don't they answer just the most basic questions? I mean, he did nothing wrong. He has the truth on his side. Gosh, I'm so confused. You're watching the Salem News Channel. More to come on O'Connor Tonight.